Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about what is dictionary and why it is used in Python and what's the important components of Python. So here I will explain you about how to create the dictionary in Python, how we will use that, how to copy the dictionary in other components, how to print the dictionary, then how we will perform the slicing activity and at the end I will provide the bonus tips so that whenever you are working with Python programming language it will help you to act or work accordingly. Dictionary is very important part when we are working with the Python and it is a collection of data. So please be a while from start to end of this tutorial for understanding this and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon here we go with the dictionary so dictionary is a collection which is unordered changeable and indexed in python dictionary are written with the curly brackets so as you can see here i have created one dictionary which contains name name of the student standard and roll number and it's already written in in between curly braces the dictionary is a python built in mapping types dictionary maps keys to the values and these key value pairs provide a useful way to store data in python typically used in whole data data related such as the information contained in an id or a user profile so just like if i want to store the data which is having variation of content just like uh, as an employee if I want to store the employee ID, employee name and their location. So it's always used, recommended to use dictionary because dictionary is a collection of data and with the variation of the data which is not possible in list and tuples. So as you can see the details, name, standard and roll number is the key of dictionary, this three and right side of that is a value value is joy 8 and 81 is the value each of the values are either string boolean and integer it's totally dependent on requirement so it means in dictionary we are saving in a different data types so if you are new to this and don't know about the data types please watch my previous session of types of data or variable types in python I will mention the link of the video in the extension tab so you can watch it from there as well. So let me create one dictionary here student student underscore detail equal to curly braces in between the quotes just like as you can see here we have to write this let me copy this full content and paste it to here which will makes easy now you can see we have added the component let me just press enter so in the top i think there is some issue in calibrasis let me change it to here now you can see dictionary is created let me print out this dictionary and see the value student detail now you can see whatever data we have entered uh, for creating student detail dictionary same is available in our response file or in output format so by this way we can create dictionary according to our requirement so dictionary will help to store just like the name itself 
sees that dictionary dictionary once we'll heard about the word dictionary it's always keep in mind it's a multiple and variation of data will be stored in our data type so that will help the developer to reuse reuse that variable or component in further part of programming so let's move to the next part so just like if i want to access the elements of the dictionary the different variations are available like if i want to open the dictionary key i just have to use this dict dot keys if i want to check the value just have to mention dict dot values means the dictionary name so let me show you here print student detail and in between the square brackets i just have to mention the name let's put it in there now you can see by using the key value i got the name of that person or the value of this key so let me show you the other method of printing this uh, just like student underscore detail dot keys so this is in terms of function so just like here names ah sorry for printing we just need to use print keyboard as well let me copy and paste it to here sorry for that now you can see tick keys are available with the name standard and roll number so if i want to print the complete value i just have to change in terms in place of keys i need to write values it's in lower case now you are able to see dict values are jo 8 and 81 so by this way we can get the detail let's run with the items key as well items now you can see whatever data is available in our dictionary same is printed here so just like in the dict items i am getting name name is joe standard is it and roll number is 81 by this way we can display the contain in different variations so let's see other objects as well so just like if i want to modify dictionary i will do that by providing their detail so just i want to create student detail in a in the name of a uh, let's put enter here and uh, let me delete first one so in detail i am changing with the column because in terminal we are defining the different terms now you can see detail is updated let me print the student value print student detail now you can see kiran is added here so by this way we can update the other detail as well so i printed it if i want to delete any keys i will do that but just 
providing the key value so let me do that delete a student underscore detail and the key let me provide the key sorry key means Kiran and close this let me print here name so I think I will need to add here curly so again print the student detail now you are able to see name is deleted so as you can see here for deletion we will need to add in single code once we will add that in single code that components will be removed same way you can add or delete it with the name values as well so here we have used the keys but we can do that with the value as well if I want to delete the complete uh, dictionary I will able to do that just writing the delete and write the name of your dictionary your components will be deleted so if I want to print the length of dictionary just add here length and in between length you can provide student detail now you can see whatever components are available counted with the key value key number it is counted to 3 by this way we can get the length of our dictionary if you want to print last inserted item then use this pop item let me print it here student oh, sorry just change the name to detail now you can see whatever we have inserted the last item is printed here so at any point of time if we want to check or if we want to display the last inserted value we will get it by using this keyboard there are several other functions are also available just like if i want to clear the dictionary i just use this it will clear if I want to copy the dictionary I will definitely do that by providing the new name equal to the dictionary dot copy so let me insert uh, this command in my terminal and we will see the dictionaries copied in new object name So here we have to provide our dictionary name detail and the copy you can see this dictionary is created or copied let me provide the name of that dictionary and print it my student and you are able to see whatever values available in student detail same is printed here let's do that the next operation that is the final nested dictionary so nested dictionary we just have to provide the different value and after providing a different value we are able to see all the values are inserted in the same dictionary so now let's print student and see what's the response student now you are able to see that whatever value we have inserted as you can see here student 1 is the one dictionary student 2 is the second dictionary student 3 is third dictionary and whenever we will insert we just have to keep adding by this format so you are able to see nested dictionary will be created 
so we have learned about what is dictionary so let's recap that continue so first we have started with what is dictionary we have created dictionary by using dictionary name equal to the components just like in components we just need to add keys and value once we will add that and after printing we are able to see the same values printed over there if i want to modify or access the element of the dictionary i will simply do that by adding new components if i want to delete any dictionary value or items i will do that but just delete dictionary name and provide the key if i want to print with the different operations just like we have did it for dict uh, dict key or the dictionary name dot key dictionary name dot values dictionary name dot items we able to see these different components will be printed in our screen there are several other operation also we have performed so adding and changing dictionary elements then deleting dictionary checking length of the dictionary and the last item whatever we have printed uh, inserted same we'll do that by pop item copying from one dictionary to the other dictionary is also possible and at the end we have created next a dictionary which is a combination of multiple dictionary so let's recap for the bonus component so just like whenever we are working with python variables it's always recommended to use dictionary when you want to create the complex data complex data it means when you want to create a library of employee or detail of employee that time you can definitely use dictionary because in employee name there's a multiple items are associated with that just like id name team or department location project there are different components are available better to use that so that your program will become easier to access and your complexity will definitely going to be decrease that this is all about what is dictionary and their programming concept hope you understand it if you have any queries or comment please comment in the comment section so that i will check and revert with the resolution and most important part don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you